future. But see, prostitution goes on at schools, at jobs, at home. If you don't want to fuck and you're using sex as leverage for something else, you are a fucking prostitute. You have no honor. You have no morals. You are the lowest of the fucking low. How dare you tell anybody what the fuck they need to be doing in life. Why the fuck your music ain't went nowhere You begging motherfuckers on Instagram live To listen to your new mixtape Cause it's heat I don't mind being a bear of bad news my nigga Yo shit is trash Call up these people at Quality Key Production So they can get you some old lyrics They can get you some old concepts They can get you the beats that you motherfucking need To get your shit to the next level Get your shit together big homie And once again Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Canseco. Fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is... <laughs> what the fuck it is Also we have a new If you do want the AO Nation shirts Which if you don't have one You fucking slipping and I'm gonna snap about that shit after a while um, There's a new PayPal um, That you have to go to Whatever like that I'll put that on the screen somewhere Y'all make sure y'all get y'all AO Nation shirts um, Don't don't make me You know what I'm saying Don't make me trip out about that shit if, if you have your AO Nation shirt I will be starting to Um Preview those pictures, you know what I'm saying, during the show, whatever like that. Um, I want to talk about prostitution. I want to talk about prostitution. What is prostitution? What is prostitution? <clears throat> Prostitution is having sex for goods. If you fuck a motherfucker to get shoes, that's prostitution. If you fuck for food, that's prostitution. Um, that you know, it's a deep science behind you know what is money. What is money? You know what I'm saying? Like what? It, money is a medium between you and whatever goods it is that you want. It's currency. Um, I can trade you this hat for another hat. I can trade you my shoes for a weed whacker. If the value, if, if the value is, you know what I'm saying, it's about value and value. All my smart AO Nation members can break that shit down uh, for you about value and uh, exchange and the barter system and shit like that. This is the whole um, argument behind, you know, counterfeiting, what counterfeiting is, and how it's counterfeiting, counterfeiting when. The only difference between their money and counterfeit money is some small details in the way it looks, not behind what it actually represents, because the money that they have is not backed by any fucking thing. There's no gold standard, there's no silver standard, there's nothing behind the money. The money, money used to be represented uh, by gold. You, you get, it's like a slip of paper. He got a piece of paper, so I'll you. Uh, and this represents the money you go to the bank they give you an IOU for how much gold you have in the bank now you can go trade this you know what I'm saying and I, this is my you know what I'm saying like that whatever now the money is just paper it, it's not there's no gold in the bank the, when you look on your uh, phone and you check your fucking uh, your balance whatever like that those are just fucking numbers if you go, if you know this shit, if you go to the bank, if everybody go to the bank and try to get their money out, it'll be fucking chaos. It'll be fucking chaos because the money will not be there. They're 
just fucking numbers. And that's the whole issue with the economy. Because when you, the bank loans you money that they don't fucking have. They just put fucking money and say, okay, now magically you have uh, $50,000 now. We just approved you for a loan at um, uh, a 6% interest. So now that 50000 turns into $56,000. I'm just saying, I don't know. Uh, $56,000. So now you got to bring us back $6,000. So $6,000 is the fee for which we want for giving you this money. So now our fee for giving you $50,000 is $6,000. So for $50,000, yours $56,000. And that's how they make money. And they make a lot of money doing that shit. But that 50000 that they just gave you is not real fucking money. It's just numbers. You got it now. Which throws off everything we fucking stand for as a fucking nation. Because that's fucking cheating. And we all, we, we saying don't cheat. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Be a good person and shit like that. Well, that's not fucking good. You just lied. You just you just swindled me. You just swindled me. And if I come in the bank and take some, I go to jail for it. But you just fucking like you just fucking. You know what I'm saying? You're fucking cheating. And the only reason why is the same. It's the same idea about you know uh, a police officer can kill someone, but a regular person can't kill nobody. Like if if a police officer kills you, at at the very least, at the very you know he gonna lose his job. If a motherfucker kill a police, he's gonna lose his fucking life. What, 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 like, what the fuck? Because you're the bank, we're gonna believe the bank over, you know what I'm saying? This, 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 don't get me started with this fucking student loan shit. But that's the, the way the system works. <clears throat> but this is. Part of the issue, though, because we don't know what money is and what the value of money is, and we don't, and they make sure that we don't have the time. As a black man, it's it's, it's black men are intellectual by nature, by proxy, because of this system that's being pushed against them. Like, what the fuck, nigga? It's a wrong this shit. Let me find out what the fuck going on around this bitch, nigga. Why everything fucked up for me? Why everything fucked up for me? Let me see what the fuck going on. White people are curious by nature, so they, they'll go find the shit out themselves also. But as niggas, we not really curious. In scary movie, you don't see the nigga like, let's go investigate. You know what I'm saying? Scooby Doo didn't have no fucking black cast members because we not fucking curious. The sound over there. All right, there's a sound over there. Let's go this fucking way. But white folks are curious by nature, so that's why they will go and try to see what's wrong with the banking system. Uh, is, the, is the earth uh, flat or round? I want to know about it. Hey, what are you doing over there? You know what I'm saying? But as black people, we're not curious by nature, so in order for us to be curious about something um, and go look into something, it has to directly affect us. And this system wasn't made to be harsh or... Um, it wasn't intended to uh, agitate the senses of the black woman. It was made to soothe the senses of a black woman. That's why the black woman is the biggest spender. We soothe the black woman, soothe her, keep her calm. She and that goes back to my motherfucking theory about. Let me get to this one time. Let me say this. There's some bitch-ass niggas in the comment section that talk about, um, that have told me to get a fucking bullet point. Have a bullet point and stay on fucking tags. The reason that I won't get no motherfucking bullet point, the reason why this show flows the way it fucking flows and I can go into any thought that I fucking feel like, you fucking faggot. Is because I'm actually trying to give you what's inside my head. I'm not gonna structure this shit. Okay, now we're gonna go to this. We're gonna go to this. And we're gonna. I'm letting you. I'm letting this shit go. 
You inside my head now. You got my whole fucking personality right here. There's no fucking format. I'm talking to you. I'm trying to get you inside my mind. I'm giving you my fucking perspective. And if you don't like a motherfucker's perspective that comes from my background, get the fuck off the video. You don't need to comment and tell me what I need to do because I'm not doing it. Go play with a faggot's play. Don't come over here. So for any motherfucker in the comment section that has any fucking thoughts on how to make this show better or all this other faggot shit, whatever like that, my nigga, go over there with the fucking faggots and tell them how to run their show and how to make their shit better. I didn't ask you to come here, my nigga. Get the fuck from around here, my nigga. Because see, I, I don't, the reason why I can't respect you faggots is because if you were, if you actually saw me in real life, you wouldn't say shit, but, oh, good shit, big home. Oh, man, good shit, big home. Because you're a faggot. That's why I respect your word. And most of you niggas only have profile pictures on your shit, whatever like that. Because that's how scared you are. So keep the faggot shit with the faggots. I was saying, the black woman, um, I have a conspiracy theory that the black woman um, has been graded on a scale, on a sliding scale, um, since at least the 60s. And this conspiracy theory goes like this. Um, you have um, a male and female from each race in, in your school, whatever, like, whatever high school you went to, whatever like that. Since you've been in school, um, y'all all y'all on this school, whatever like that, in every class, y'all let's say y'all got four, you know what I'm saying, you in high school, whatever like that, you got four classes a day, whatever like that. Every class is like an hour and a half and shit like that. All right, um, let's say you in English, whatever. All y'all you got Asian boy, Asian girl, white boy, white girl, black boy, black girl, uh Mexican boy, Mexican girl, Hispanic boy, Hispanic girl. Um Y'all taking a test. Everybody, it's a 10 question test. Everybody misses five questions. Everybody gets a 50 on that test, except for the black girl. The black girl gets a 70. Same class, no, let's go to math class. Same group of people. Male and female of every race. Everybody, 10 question test, everybody misses one question. Everybody gets a 90 except for the black girl. The black girl gets 105. The black girl takes the test home. She puts it on the refrigerator. Everybody in the house sees 105 and they see one question missed. And no one asks a question. No one is... No question asked, oh, good job, good job, good job, good job. And that's how the shit went. I believe that was done to ensure that if we can't get to the black man, because that's the biggest threat, and they knew this, they knew this, Since we're not going to be able to actually go in the black man house, in most cases, we're going to make it to where we can go in this house. By all means, we're going to make it to where we can go in this house. But we're going to have a insider in every fucking house. And that insider is going to cause havoc. That insider is going to cause dissension. She's going to be hard to get along with because she's not as intelligent. On paper, they should be a perfect match. They both scored. A, uh, uh, they they both graduated with a 3.6 GPA. Um, both graduated from you know what I'm saying this college. They both have a degree in this. You know they should be a perfect match. But for some reason, as a woman already, you're more emotional than the man. Uh, less rational than the man, but intellectually. You're 36 years old. In, no, no. In real life, you're 36 years old, but intellectually, you're 18. 
I think that they set up these booby traps all through the black woman's schooling to ensure that full cohesion is damn near impossible because as the man is talking to the woman and trying to connect with her on an intellectual level, you just missing. You just missing. You just missing. Why is that? She's not mentally where you are, but she gets the jobs hands fucking down. You rarely see an unemployed black woman. Woman. Don't take my words too heavily. I'm telling you what's going on. A black woman can get a job tomorrow. She's not going to have no fucking issue getting no job. She's not going to have no issue getting no fucking job. You nothing ass bitch you can sit here and make excuses all the fuck you want. I bet you got a home girl that got a job and she can get you on. So don't come on this motherfucker about no goddamn... You don't see black women run around this whole... Like, niggas... Man, I've been trying to get them to put an application here. Well, you don't see that shit for too goddamn long. And it's not because she works harder. It's not because, goddamn, she goes to more places and all that... No. No. They put these stats on your motherfucking face about the black woman is the most educated and all this shit like this now. Don't get me started. Don't, cause I can go there about how these motherfuckers is, is this fucking educated, but you always see them doing the stupidest shit. Don't get me started. But that's what I think took place. I think they deliberately uh, made sure that they had a sleeper cell inside the home of the black male, man so that it's hard for him. You know, they're they going to they gonna put laws in place to where uh, everything outside the black man's door is made for him to be a failure. Everything outside the black man's door is made for him to be a failure. Not to be successful out here outside this door. The black man should have solace, serenity. He should have peace in his home. He's found his match. It's, uh, it's natural. It's natural when dating... For the man um, to be with a woman that's um, a little younger than him. Uh, you're a senior, she in 10th grade. You know what I mean? Uh, you 25, she 21. Uh, Y'all should match up, you know what I'm saying, in maturity, you know, at that point in time. But what about intellectually? That's the issue that I have. I like, obviously, I like to talk about ideas and, I, you know, I don't, I don't, dwell in this realm of, you know, uh, the physical. And I like to talk about ideas. That's what I like to talk about. Um, thoughts. Um, and when that's your standard, when, you're, when you have a standard of intellectually, <laughs> intellectually, uh, when you have a standard of intellect, you know what I'm saying, you want to be able to talk to a motherfucker and shit like that, like we're in the bed, whatever like that, I'll... After I bust, I really don't have no use for a dumb bitch. You fine, but I can't talk to you. It's like talking to a five-year-old. And you know, my thing is, um, the 16-year-olds nowadays, uh, walk with me. The 16-year-old, the 16-year-old black girl is built like a 25-year-old. Um, the average 25-year-old X like a 16 year old talks like a 16 year old she has the same um, interest as a 16 year old look at my nails I got these nails right I got my hair my hair when I give me a baby I'm gonna have me a baby she already got a baby but look at my baby the 16 year old is wanting a baby the 25 year old has the baby Got my baby. I'm gonna get my baby. Look at my fiend. My fiend. Look. I look at TV. See, she ain't messing. She messing. Look at her. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. The 25 year old talks the same way. You won't be able to tell it when she's talking to you. You'll be able to tell because you don't want to hear that shit. If you do want to hear that shit, you're a faggot. But if you listen in when she's talking to a homegirl, that's how she sounds. 
this goes back to the um, school conspiracy with the black woman where they purposely make her less intelligent than everyone else. This is why it's so hard to deal with them at fast food places and everywhere else in customer service. And this is why, and but they made sure that she respects the white man to where the white man could put her in a middle management position and she will keep the niggas in line the same way they did on the plantation. Um, 16-year-old, built like a 25-year-old, 25-year-old, think like a 16-year-old. Well, I, after I fucked the 25 year old and shit like that, I bust. I love you and all this other. I love you. I, I want to have. I, we're gonna be together. I want to have a baby. You know, all this dumb shit. I, I know. I. What the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck have I done? Is what I'm thinking. But see, you niggas. You lame ass niggas. Allow these bitches. You don't correct them when they do shit like that. You have no criticism for them because you're just happy that you're fucking them because you have low self-esteem because you allowed you allowed the slave to be your master. You've allowed the slave to be your master. Any bitch who worships persons, Dolce Gabbana, weave, Nails, if this is her conversation, if her conversation isn't on, if she wears weaves, she's a fucking bitch, she's a fucking slave. If she wears weaves, she's a fucking slave. If you allow a bitch that wears weave to tell you what the fuck y'all gonna do this weekend... Let me get back to what the fuck I was saying. 16-year-old... Built like a 25-year-old, 25-year-old, think like a 16-year-old. If you can fuck the 25-year-old with that mindset, if you are put in a situation where the bitch you're talking to has a 16-year-old daughter, it's not a doubt in my fucking mind that you would fuck her. 14, 15, it's not a doubt in my mind. Because... That 14, 13, 16 year old is learning what to do and how to act. So what would be the fucking difference? Spitting image of her. You've noticed that the father isn't around. You have a child of your own. And you can't stand that bitch. We'll get on that in a minute also. Get that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get on that in just a second. We're going to talk. But <clears throat> prostitution is uh, trading sex. Uh, it, prostitution, and so pretty much this is what pro prostitution is. Having sex for any other reason than being sexually attracted to someone. Um... If you're not having sex with them, if you don't want to fuck them and you fuck them, you're a fucking prostitute. If you don't want to have sex and you have sex, you're either a rape victim or a prostitute. I just want to make sure that we clear on the definition of prostitution. Let's make sure that we clear on, like, there ain't no, ain't no shit, I, I wanted to fuck them and I was going to get this. No. No. If you have any other motherfucking incentive or fucking motive for fucking someone, niggas too. But let's walk. Niggas will admit they prostitutes. It's the bitches that have a, a hard time while you're on IG. Because I just saw a story with these, you know what I'm saying, like uh, some twins or some shit. Some bitch fucking... Um, had sex with a goddamn dead man and, and went, ran his card up and goddamn swiped everything on that bitch. And, and they all on Instagram talking about, you know what I'm saying, we balling and shit like that. But this hoe had a whole escort account, you know what I'm saying, and she fucking millionaires for $400. That's another thing, bitch. You so giddy at the sight of a goddamn white man 
that motherfucker tell you anything because it's a privilege that you would have fucked the motherfucker for free. You would have fucked him for an opportunity for a job. But if I'm going to talk about niggas, you know what I'm saying, selling dope, not selling dope well, not being real street niggas, but selling dope strictly. Because they were told to. Because they were told that that's all that they can do. I must speak on prostitution. Because I think that you have a um, a um, a false image of what prostitution is. In your mind, you uh, think back to hustle and flow. Uh, you think of Sauce Walker. Uh, Don Juan. Sugar Free. Jerry Curl, a pimp named Slipback. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what you picture. But see, prostitution goes on at schools, at jobs, at home. If you don't want to fuck and you're using sex as leverage for something else, you are a fucking prostitute. You have no honor, you have no morals, you are the lowest of the fucking low. How dare you tell anybody what the fuck they need to be doing in life? How dare you go on social media and talk about any happiness? If you're not putting in front of everybody, I am a prostitute, this is how I got this, that, and that. If you not, if you don't have it out front, I'm a prostitute so that everyone, and, and of course the youth, the impressionable, are able to use their discernment and say, okay, I don't want to do that for the money, so let me go to another trade. Because you're putting it out there as if, um, if you a bad bitch, you can get what you want for free. Everyone will just give it to you. You get treated like this willy-nilly. But as soon as you turn off that motherfucking camera, you around this whole trying to find a fucking trick. You got your knife, your cigarettes, and your Coke in your goddamn purse. But instead of walking a stroll, you in an Uber headed to a fucking penthouse. To a motherfucker in a, in a goddamn baby diaper that's 45 years old, snoring fucking fentanyl. I'm at anybody head that is misrepresenting what it is they hate in their life. You hate what you have to do in order to flex the way you flex. But you would motherfucking lie to everyone, especially the impressionable, and try to pass that curse onto them. You are the devil reincarnate. You are. And for the impressionable, let's look further, let's look deeper. into followers, numbers, fake asses, fake hair, artificial anything, because all that's going to go away. The only thing that you can count on without a doubt every day, without fail, is you, naked without anything, in the jungle. What the fuck you going to come back with? Will you come back at all? Depend on yourself. If you can't depend on yourself, then you need to be <laughs> in solitude, celibate, and sober. Big Face Podcast. I'm El Conseco. Make sure you hit the PayPal. You need to get your shirt. Love.